Dear all, today we'll be discussing about a synaptophore or another name for it is called major amblyoscope. So this is an instrument used to diagnose non-strabismic binocular vision disorders. Not only to diagnose, we can use it to treat non-strabismic binocular vision disorders as well. We can also find any presence of abnormal retinal correspondence. We can also do cover test in that. We can also give treatment for amblyopia. Many things we can give. We can treat the patient for convergence and divergence too. That are the, so these are the tubes of the synaptophore. Okay. So this is, these are the eyepiece. Okay. You can see the headrest. The, now this one is a head injury brush. So this head injury brush exercise can be given for to treat amblyopia. In this blue background, a green color brush, uh, green color material rotates. Okay. Now the speed of the speed with which it rotates, the head injury brush rotates. It can be controlled with the help of the regulators. Okay. So here are the regulators which we can. So we can select which eye to be given. So basically, we give the amblyopic treatment to the bad eye. We uh, uh, no, only give the treatment to the affected eye. So uh, basically this will uh, like it will uh, help them like help to improve the macular perception. Okay. So that is the reason we can give head injury brush exercises. Okay. Head injury brush helps a lot. Okay. So it's like like a pleoptics or something uh, where we show light to the patient's eye. Right. We try to show light to the macula to improve the vision. That is the thing. Okay. Now, uh, so when you switch on the instrument, okay, if you are controlling that uh, switches, so the head injury brushes will be rotating and you can control head injury brushes to be put in which eye. Okay. So, these are the hyper deviations. Okay. We can see to measure uh, hype, uh, these are the cyclo deviations can be measured. We can measure hyper deviations in a synaptophore. Okay. We can uh, measure any kind of deviation with the help of synaptophore, vertical deviation as well as horizontal deviations can be measured. Okay. We can also measure the negative fusional versions and positive fusional versions with this adduction and abduction, this uh, rotator. Okay. So we can do all this sort with the help of a synaptophore and uh, so many things major all these things can be done with the help of a synaptophore. So only thing you need to know the instrument first. These are the test switches to do the cover test. So when you press the switches alternately you can perform cover test like this. Okay. So the, you need to make the patient sit and do this test like this. So these are the basic things of synaptophore. In the other videos, we will be discussing about the other details of the synaptophore. Thank you all.